how does one become a third order Dominican? Are there any requirements concerning age and marital status? Are there traditional and Novus Ordo Dominican third orders? And if so, what are the differences? What are the rules that members of the traditional Dominican third order are required to live by? Yes, there are traditional and Novus Ordo Dominican third orders. There is a big difference, however, after the council, um, the rule of the third order was, in the Dominican order, was drastically changed. Now, um, they even changed the name. I think they call it something like the lay Dominicans or something. They don't use the term third order. Um, and they changed the rule completely, just in a way they changed the rule of the first order. Um, but there is a traditional third order. I'm actually the director of it. Um, what it consists in being a traditional third order Dominican is to follow the rule of the third order um, that was used before the council. In fact, it goes back to Pius XI after canon law was codified in 1917 um, all of the third orders had to revise their rules uh, to make them come in line with the canon law on the question of third order. So there was a, a new rule put together in the 1920s by, under Pius XI, which um, is the rule that we follow in our third order. It's open to, lay, to married people. You can be married or single. Um, the idea of a third order is to participate while living in the world um, in the life of the order to which you, are, you become affiliated. All of the major orders have a third order. The Franciscans have a third order. The Benedictines have a sort of a third order. Um, and the Dominicans have a third order, the Carmelites as well. Um, and so each of these third orders have a, a, a rule for people living in the world to help them participate in the life of the order. The Dominican third order then um, has a rule which involves a certain amount of oral prayers um, in particular, 15 decades of the rosary every day, or you can say the divine office, or the office, the little office of Our Lady, um, which is quite a lot of prayers, actually. Usually people kind of work up to that. They start as postulants, um, saying perhaps less than that at the beginning, uh, but they... To, before they make profession as third order members, they normally have to say uh, either 15 decks of the rosary or the divine office or the little office of Our Lady. Um, strictly speaking, absolutely, they have to say at least five decades of the rosary every day. That's the absolute minimum. There's some reason that they can't say more. For example, if it's someone with a family or something like that, well, um, they can be allowed to only say five decades of the rosary, but normally they say 15 decades of the rosary every day. And there are other um, rules that they have to follow, um, certain, a certain sobriety in their life. For example, they normally um, they don't go out uh, on parties or things like that unless there's some, exceptionally, some reason to attend something. But they live a more retired life. Um, they also are expected to have a, a Dominican spirit in their spiritual life, and hope that's what uh, the Domin belonging to the Third Order of St. Dominic helps them to do, is to develop this spirit, this Dominican spirit, in their spiritual lives. If someone's interested in joining our Third Order, you can simply um, ask the Fatima Center, and they will refer you to me, and I can send you more information on it.